Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Daniel Umstead, host of the RNG Radio Show. And today's guest, I know what you're thinking. Dan, you've already had investment groups. You've already had investment partners on here. I know how to Google real estate investing as far as getting started. Well, ladies and gentlemen, who I have today, world-renowned brothers, Mr. Ashton and Christopher LeVarc with the Valkyrie Investment Group. Gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? Doing great. Good to be here. Awesome, awesome. Ashley, can we hear you okay? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I cut out for a second, but I'm doing good. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, uh, gentlemen, you're here on my show. Uh, what, what is the reason why folks need to Google search Valkyrie Investment Group uh, and what you guys do? Um, well, we provide uh, better retirement opportunities. We provide opportunities for passive income for cash flow for tax um, tax free wealth growth uh, stuff like that I mean that's basically what we're doing we're we're creating opportunities through real estate right now so yeah definitely just just like what Ashton said um, we're our, our slogan is more opportunity more choices more life so we're liking to share to teach to bring people on this journey and and we're doing that through real estate investing in real estate and and partnering to to get real estate assets under uh, under management so Okay. Now, where is uh, the company uh, based out of? That would be Arizona for the time being. Um, all our companies are located out of Arizona. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, but we, we purchase, you know, assets across the country. Ashton is in Portland, Oregon. Okay. So it's all, all remote. Okay. Beautiful thing, especially during these wonderful, wonderful times that were happening. Um, <clears throat> one question, another question I wanted to ask you guys, uh, how long have you guys actually been in business for? Yeah, we've been in business for about two years now. So okay. uh, got started back in 2018 uh, with some small duplexes and uh, scaled our way up from there to apartment uh, multifamily syndication now. Okay. And what was your passion as far as, you know, uh, getting things started? I mean, I know we weren't in the economic turmoil at that point in time. I mean, things are still getting better, uh, actually, depending on which uh, realtor you're going to ask. Things are getting better. <laughs> but um, what made you uh, both actually just want to get started with the investment group? Um, yeah, so I was getting ready for uh, retirement, 20 years in the military. And uh, my brother had seen like a dip in his 401k. And then, you know, we started talking real estate and, um, one thing led to another. We did like, we got something under contract in 90 days and then, um, you know, did a massive rehab and was able to refinance out of it. And it opened a bunch of doors for us and we were able to see the power of real estate. And then, you know, multiple doors it, um, is less risk, uh, economies of scale and stuff like that. So we just started focusing on bigger and bigger deals, but that's kind of how we started and why. Okay. I love that. I love that. Well, before we continue on, you know, I just want to say thank you so much for your service. Uh, my mom was in the Navy. So growing up as a military brat, I definitely, definitely uh, respect and love the uh, armed forces and what it's done for my family and just the opportunity. I got to live in Hawaii, born in Japan. So that alone, but this isn't about me. It's about you guys. So with <laughs> that, uh, where can actually folks uh, go online via social media to check you guys out or get in, get in contact with you guys about any deals? Sure. So yeah, we're on all the main streams. We're on Facebook. We're on LinkedIn. If you go on LinkedIn or Bigger Pockets, you can search either one of our names, Christopher Leverick, Ashton Leverick. Otherwise, the easiest way really is to hit our website, ValkyrieGroup.com, V-A-L. K E R E group.com. We have our Facebook, we have Instagram links all up in there. So you can uh, reach out that way. Awesome. 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 And uh, you said being a brand new company, you know, just starting out in 2018. And although, like I said, depends upon which realtor you ask, these are trying times for a lot of folks. Where do you see the company thriving, you know, within the next three or even five years? That's a, that's a good question. Um, I mean, we're, we're in the multifamily space right now. We're, you know, we're working on two deals right now, upwards of 340 units, um, 120 unit, and then a 220 unit in different markets. Um, where do we see it thriving? I mean, multifamily itself has been pretty resilient over the years, just uh, by the mere fact, especially when you look at like B and C class properties you know, especially in a dirt, in a downturn, because people always need a place to stay. And I mean, that's working class America and we're providing 
you know, affordable housing to, to that demographic. And so, you know, when people downsize, they downsize from an A to a B class or a B to a C class, not necessarily from, you know, no, we, and since we are in those, those classes, we're, I'm not going to say we're, we're resistant to a downturn, but we're definitely um, in the right space uh, and well protected, you know, everybody's to an extent. Right. But um, mm. yeah. So uh, where do I see us thriving? Like we are, we're working on a YouTube channel. We're working on um, bringing in more mentorship. We're, we're working on bringing in more partners um, and just expanding out to more emerging markets. And um, you know, despite everything, despite all the fear, there's actually a lot of opportunity right now in this space. So um, that's kind of what we're looking for. We're looking for people that are, you know, willing to go that way with us to build this, this, um, these partnerships and these teams and these different uh, markets as we progress, you know, out of this pandemic and, you know, provide more affordable housing to people. Okay. All right. Now this is it because I know you guys had said that uh, Ashton, I know you're based out in uh, Oregon and uh, Chris, I know you're down in um, Arizona. Does it matter uh, where these folks are at that are looking to partner with you? Absolutely not. Okay. Um, yeah, this is very, I mean, what, what we're doing is, yes, we're going to see these properties. I mean, you can see one of the properties behind Chris right there at Phoenix Point. That's in Columbus, Ohio. Um, that's one of the ones we're working on right now. But um, yes, we got to go out there. But we put a team together. We have an asset management company. You know, they have over 28,000 units under management right now. Plenty of experience with this stuff. Um, we have contractors on, that are local, obviously. But, you know, everybody else that's managing the business, this is, and, and that is partnered with the business, it's all, it's all virtual. I mean, it's all um, much like when you invest in the stock market, or, except what we're doing is we're controlling the value by adding value to the property. A um, little bit different, but similar, right? So you can invest from afar. Gotcha. Um, I love that. I love that. Now, um, you know, being with bigger pockets, there, there's so many people who say that they have this or say they have this background, you know, from the people who get it started, all the way up to the ones who are highly experienced. Uh, for you guys, you know, and doing so much uh, since 2018, uh, what is it that you guys look for in a partner uh, to join you, you know, in the next uh, real estate deal? That's great. We just put out a YouTube video about this, picking a partner. Oh. I'll have to share that link. But basically, it comes down to when you build a team, where, where do you want the partners to fit? What role they're playing? What, what are your weaknesses? What are your strengths, right? That's kind of what we dive into the video. And so especially with real estate, you find uh, in these bigger deals, you got asset management, you got raising capital, you got deal flow and acquisitions, so broker relationships. Um, and, and you'll have all sorts of stuff. You even might have someone who's worth a lot of net worth to sign on the loan. That's called the key principle. They become a part of the team. So you're looking for where you're weak at and where someone else is strong at and then partner up so that you have strength across multiple uh, parts of the team to get the job done, basically. So. Okay. Awesome. I love that. I love that. And um, I know that there's so many steps, you know, uh, great YouTube channels such as you and ours. Uh, but um, coming from you guys' point of view, what are the most common ways uh, to get into, you know, multifamily investing? That's awesome. We just did a post and a you know a video on this too, but <laughs> I think, um, <laughs> but here's what we've seen, you know, so there's three common ways to get into it. Some people fall into it accidentally, but I think these are the three most common. Um, so the first one is in the multifamily space, a lot of people go looking for that mentorship. So there's a lot of mentors out there that will bring you on, you know, you pay, um, they give you all their you know, five, 10, 20 step processes to get the deal done. They hook you up with all their network, all their professionals. Um, they probably bring you into a mastermind, you know, and there's some mentoring going on, which is great. And it gives you a lot of opportunity there. Um, that's not the route we took, uh, but a lot of people do go that route. The second one is probably um, going alone. So you do everything yourself. You put together the team, you learn the market, you learn the asset class, you learn how to assess and assess value and then, you know, add value later. And you do all that on your own. That's a, you know, higher risk because you have, you have less knowledge going into it and you really have to educate yourself, but probably higher return too. So that's how we started out. Um, but then the last one, and the last one would be, you know, partnering with people. 
And I, we're big fans of, or I'm a big fan of quotes and I use them all the time, you know, go, go fast alone and go far together. And if you're really trying to go far in business, I think partnerships is the way to do it. Um, and so really finding the right par partners, making sure your values aligned, make sure your focus is aligned. Right. And what kind of what Chris was saying is that, and, and make sure that they, uh, complement your strengths and weaknesses and fill in a role on the team, obviously, you know, so really it starts with being clear about what you need on your team. But, you know, there's a lot of people come in as limited partners, meaning as passive investors, and then they kind of learn the ropes, learn the process that way. Um, and then maybe the next time they come in as a general partner doing more of an active role to helping with the due diligence, helping with the, raising the capital. And that's kind of what Chris was di diving into there. But yeah, those are the three most, three most common ways we've seen people get into multifamily syndications. Okay. And you uh, touched on partnership a little bit. I, I want to make that key because I get a lot of folks, um, especially, especially with real estate that, you know, folks seem that they could do it on their own, but they miss that partnership aspect of it. So why is it that partnership is so powerful and important for folks to understand? No one's smarter than all of us, right? I mean, if you think you can do it alone, man, hats off to you, right? But I'm not, I'm a proud guy, but I'm not too proud to know that um, this is not my area of expertise. I am not a general contractor. I'm not an asset manager. I'm not, and that's, those things are not something you're going to learn overnight. You know? so I, I would lean heavily on people that have made that a profession in their, in their life. You know, I know how to manage teams. I know how to work with teams. I know how to build teams. Uh, coming from the military. I think my brother along the same way. I mean, he's really good at systems. He's really good at IT um, management, stuff like that. I mean, so really focus on your strengths, narrow down like what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are. And don't go and try and improve all your weaknesses. Try to excel in like one or two of your strengths and then bring in other people that, that make it so much easier. And to that point, like I could go on all day about this. And I, I think Chris could even talk longer, but like get a VA, if you think you're going to need a VA in six months, you're probably already six months behind the power curve. Like get somebody to offload a lot of that, um, you know, a lot of that noise, right? Reading and replying to emails and, you know, all sorts of little stuff that you can, you can really offload. Um, and, and you'll see how much you can actually spend on those $10,000, you know, $10,000 hour um, tasks. You know what I mean? Like answering emails is not a $10,000 hour, $10,000 an hour task. Like maybe a, analyzing a property or building a team or um, walking a property or those kind of things. Like those tasks, like networking, those tasks are, are $10,000 an hour tasks. But answering emails and writing emails and um, I mean, those, <laughs> filing receipts that are needed for taxes, those are not your highest and best use, you know? So I think it goes all up and down the chain, like partner with people, better and more experienced with you, but also partner with people that can take other stuff off your plate. Gotcha. Okay. I love that. I love that. And um, for the folks listening, I want you guys to understand BA. So in real estate talk, it is considered a virtual assistant. Your virtual assistant is somebody that you're finding through Fiverr, paying maybe what, two, three, four, at tops five bucks an hour. But if it is five bucks an hour, make sure that they're specialized in what you're doing. But honestly, it's nothing to us uh, because I have friends in the Philippines and they say, Dan, you don't understand. Three bucks an hour is like your 40 or 50 grand over there. And I'm like, mm -hmm. all right, let's, let's run with it. So uh, <laughs> folks, please take advantage of utilizing the VA, um, especially with the calls. And please, I, I had one realtor tell me that, oh, you shouldn't use, you know, a VA as far as making calls for you. You should be the ones making the connection. I was like, what if they're not interested? Yeah, but it's that connection and relationship you build. And I'm like, yeah. Okay. Sure. So uh, <laughs> with that guys, um, you know, and we touched on partnership, but thank you so much for that Ashton. Uh, I want to know, and uh, Chris, if you can actually answer this for me, why is it so important to know yourself first before even getting into this type of game? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I talk about this all the time, introspection. Uh, it's a great, it's a great quality for a leader to know, um, you know, what you're good at, what you're not good at, because then you can fill your team with the correct people. We like to do pro personality tests. We're big on the DISC profile. Um, so if you haven't heard of DISC, it's D-I-S-C. Uh, it's basically just four type of attributes that you can assign to a person um, based on certain questions that they answer. So a personality test, um, 
And basically it's going to tell you what kind of work you like doing, where you kind of fit in the model. Are you more of a, are you more of a go getter? Do you go out before the plan is created? Do you just go get it done? And, and, or are you more of a people person? Are you more of a process person? Are you deal? You're going to analyze, you know, forever before you take action. So you kind of want a well-rounded team. So doing those personality tests and understanding where you fit, you know what value you can provide to a team and a team will also know what value um, you're bringing to the table, which is big. Um, we get all our VAs to do the personality test. Um, that way we know who we're getting and you don't want to be involved for, you know, teach someone something for two to three months and figure out they're actually a total different <laughs> position or type of person, you know, so. Understandable. Okay, awesome. I love that. And then uh, before we continue on, uh, where can folks actually check you out again on uh, social media and online? Sure. So you can see this logo right here. It's Valkyrie, V-A-L-K-E-R-E group.com. So everything's on there. We got Facebook, Instagram. We even have a Twitter account. If you want to reach out directly to each of us, we are on LinkedIn. Just you can search our name. We are on Bigger Pockets. Perfect, perfect. And then um, one question that I always ask uh, my guests who uh, come to the show, um, especially the business owners, what advice would you give to somebody? And I definitely would love both of you to answer. What advice would you give to somebody who's looking to get their business started or because of trying times that we're in right now where, you know, people are unsure if they should be wearing a mask tomorrow or not. Uh, what advice would you give to the uh, next business owner as far as what they should be doing? Sure. Yeah. Ashton, you go first. Yeah, I love that question. Um, so I, I, I boil it down to three things. Get clear on what you want, commit to that, and take action. And just keep going through that every day. So every morning, get clear on what you want. And this goes as far out, look as far out as like five years. Where do you see yourself in five years? What are you driving? What are you working? What, how much time do you have for yourself and your family? And then work back from there. How did you get there? So, um, you know, like what kind of strategy you're using? We're using real estate. So for us, we knew we needed to have, you know, $20,000 of income, uh, passive income each month to support my family and Chris's family. And so how do we do that? How many units is that? How much cash flow per unit? Da, da, da. And all the way back. And then we, five years, three years, one year, and then we have 90 day sprints. So get clear on your goal, clear, clear on how you're going to get there and then commit. And once you commit, there's no going back. There's no chance to fail because when you're committed, even a little misstep or even a giant failure is really just a time for education. So there is no such thing as failure when you're actually committed to an end goal. Um, so really make that commitment like your life depended on it. And then lastly, take action. And action is, take, is, is a daily thing. Take action by writing your goals every morning. Take action by learning. Take action by making an offer on a massive property, building a network, building a team, you know, talking to other investors, learning, whatever. But take action and be as small or as big as needed towards your, your, your plan. Um, the bigger the plan, obviously, the more action needs to be taken. Massive action demands or massive uh, dreams demand massive action. But those are my top three. Get clear, commit, and take action. I, I love that. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. And uh, Chris, what advice would you give? Sure. And I, I say this all the time in bigger pockets too. I'm, I'm going to go more detailed probably on the real estate side, but um, it's, it's really, he, I'm aligned with Ashton on this. Create your goal, you know, know your why, create your goal. So uh, you can do that in five, three, two, one. Get, there's multiple ways. You can read a book on how to, to create a long-term goal or a, a short-term goal. But create the goal, educate on the strategy that's going to get you there. Then find someone doing that and just copy them, mirror them, just copy them. Take action daily, like Ashton said, and then modify and repeat. And if you just do those steps, I think you can achieve anything in real estate, anything in business, but real estate is so easy because it's right in front of you. And there's, yeah. no, there's no really secret. You just watch, oh, that guy flipped that house this way. Well, he made 30 grand. Maybe I'll, t I'll do it that way or maybe I'll do it a different way. But it's all right in front of you. So if you just create the goal, educate on the strategy with all the books and the Audible and the podcast, copy someone, get a mentor, but copy them, you know, find someone, take that action, modify and repeat. And I think you, you can't, you can't mess it up. You know, you're going to learn either way. So. I love that. I love that. Gentlemen, thank you so much for that. And uh, before I let y'all go, is there anything else that uh, the folks at home should know about Valkyrie Investment Group? Um, we're always talking to people. We're always networking. We're happy to talk to newbies as well as people that are, you know, way more experienced than us. You know, we're still learning. We're still growing, um, you know, we, we 
we'd love to, you know, partner with people. We love to meet new people. So uh, let's make something happen. Love that. Love that. Chris, you agree or you got anything else? Totally. Totally. I, I, I like to say that we're kind of, we're the, we're the guys that came up doing it ourselves and, and through brute force. And so if we can help someone else do it a little easier um, and, and not charge a full mentorship fee for it, um, you know, we're, reach out and contact us. I give a lot of time in bigger pockets. You can look at my profile. I post a lot. We give a lot of free content. So um, we, we are the guys that kind of went up through the, the trenches. So feel free to reach out and connect and we'll try to help. Awesome. I love that. Well, gentlemen, uh, thank you again so much for being on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all heard it here right on the RNG radio show. Uh, Mr. Christopher Lavark, as well as Ashton Lavark of the Valkyrie Investment Group, right here being on the RNG radio show that's offering free advice. And yes, when you go to biggerpockets.com and you just sign up for free and you search both of these gentlemen's names, you're going to get that free advice to get you to your goals. So gentlemen, thank you again so much for being on the show. really appreciate having you here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Definitely, definitely. And uh, again, Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to check out the RNG Radio Show Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. on Facebook Live or check out the replay with great interviews such as these on YouTube. Thanks again, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Fleslet on the beat.